He was not a political person at all. He didn't even believe in institutions like 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 the union or parties or something like that. He was a free spirit. He was a like a a bit like a hippie. And he was an artist in the end. He's a, he's a very skilled musician and carpenter and very good with his hands. And artists, you know, they are not artists per se are not very political people because they express themselves through what they do or the music they make or whatnot. And it went totally against his grain. His inner guts revolted. They 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 didn't understand what was going on there. That that's what made him finally decide to do that. He's, I always compare him to Snowden because Snowden is not a political person at all. He's one of ten thousands of people working in that agency knowing that this is not right and can't, he just can't find peace with his consciousness. To, to, he, he needs to do something. Why is it only Snowden and not one of the other guys? They all know it's wrong. But he is the only guy who stands up and says, stop, this can't be. And he does it at the risk of his own life. He knows his life is destroyed. It's such a character strength. I admire that. And Georg had that too.